There's been a lot of interest in seeing the behind the scenes on this puzzle furniture, so I thought I would start by showing some of the details of the Wisteria cabinet. I do all my design work in SolidWorks, including all of the puzzle components. For this piece, we started by cutting the marquetry. I cut all my marquetry on a scroll saw, and it uses a variety of dyed veneer, greens, lavenders, and a natural holly veneer on a maple burl background. As the pieces are cut, they get individually assembled into the background to create the overall picture. This picture has a variety of lavender wisteria flowers. I switched some colors around here and there just to see how they would look with the lavender and white holly. I also incorporated several birds into the marquetry picture. They're made in a variety of natural and dyed veneer, and I did a few different patterns in the veneer just to see what would look more interesting and more natural for both birds. Once the marquetry panels were complete, they were incorporated into the framework for the piece. This client specifically requested the marquetry flow across the legs of the piece. So I did a variety of inlay work across the legs so the pattern in the marquetry would carry from the side panels to the front. At this point, we have a variety of images showing the basic cabinet coming together and each of the different components being put together. The client is a big fan of burl veneer, so we have maple burl, walnut burl, and then on the inside, amboina burl mixed into this piece. And it was a challenge to incorporate all of those in a way that looked visually interesting. At this point, we have some of the mechanical components coming together. These are the drawer latches that unlock the first horizontal automated feature of the cabinet, the lower compartment that slides out to the side. The drawers above the latches have to be moved to a specific location and then the latches can both turn and that unlocks the mechanical movement and allows that drawer compartment to slide out. It then relocks automatically when you push it back in. The second bit of automated movement on this piece is a vertical lift that comes up through the center of the desk. It's actually hidden behind that lower walnut burl panel and it is also automated. The latching mechanism that unlocks it is part of the right side drawer mechanism. As you unlock certain parts, the drawers move and allow the compartment to come up. And as the compartment comes up, it unlocks the two spring-loaded doors in front of it that open and allow you access to all of the drawers inside of it. Those again relatch and the mechanism can be reset to once again rise and open the doors on its own. The left side of the cabinet has a different mechanism in a three-way lock that ties the two drawers and the door together so they can only be unlocked in a certain order. I call this piece a puzzle cabinet, but in reality it's a fall front desk and all of the hardware inside of it was done in polished stainless steel. Something I added after the fact just for fun was this small set of drawers. One slides out on one side after being unlocked by the one on the right and then the one on the right hinges out and opens. The clock has two hands that rotate a set of miter gears in the back of the clock. Those are connected to a magnet that unlocks compartments below the clock when it's placed in the right location inside the desk. Here's a quick fast forwarded version of solving the desk. If you like these videos showing more of the behind the scenes information, let me know in the comments and I will post a few more in the next few weeks. Thanks again for watching.